to, hallelujah, the presence of the Lord on tonight. Glory to God. Get ready to receive from the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Truly, God has you in mind tonight. Glory, glory, glory. I said the Lord has you in mind tonight. Hallelujah. Concerning this word. Amen. So for those who need to hear from him, glory, glory, glory. For those that are really in a place where you need to hear from God, tonight is your night. Amen. Tonight is your night of freedom. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Glory to God. Tonight is your night where you are going to come out of that situation. You're going to come out of that circumstance. You're going to come out of that place. Amen. Where the enemy wanted you to remain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, tonight is my night to come out. Glory, glory, glory. Tonight is your night to come out. Why? Because God is doing it. Amen. God is doing it. God is still, amen, setting the captive free. God is still moving on his people's behalf. And one thing I know about God, he's a prayer answering God. Amen. So those of you that have prayers on the altar, those of you that have been talking to the Father in Jesus' name, listen, you can expect your miracle tonight. Hallelujah. Anytime you come before God, always come in expectation. Glory to God. Anytime you come, even in the presence of God's prophet, hallelujah, come with expectation. Glory to God. Always come, amen, to God with expectation, knowing that he cares, knowing that he loves you, and just knowing that he's mindful of you. Glory to God. The Bible says that we are to cast our cares upon the Lord, for he cares for us. Amen. So you have to know tonight that God cares for you. No matter what man has said, no matter what woman has said, no matter um, your situation, your circumstance, no matter what's going on around you, God cares for you. Amen. He cares for you and he loves you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As his servant tonight, as his messenger tonight, I have to tell you before we go any further that God loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you with an everlasting love. Glory to God. See, the love of God is, is unconditional. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men and women may love you on condition. People may love you on condition. You know, if you do this for me, then I'll do that for you. You know, if you do this for me, then I'll love you. Mm -mm. God's love is unconditional. Amen. Come on, somebody. Somebody give God some praise for that. Hallelujah. God doesn't change either. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Uh, somebody be encouraged tonight. Be encouraged tonight. Just be encouraged tonight. Hallelujah. Be encouraged tonight. Glory, glory, glory. God's going to encourage somebody's heart tonight. Hallelujah. I feel that so strong. Amen. Somebody is, is weighed down tonight. Glory to God. I can actually feel the burdens of some of you as you are coming on, on tonight. Hallelujah. I have a word from God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all right because you will not stay in that place. Hallelujah. You will not stay in that place, says the Lord. You will not stay in that low place. Glory to God. You are coming out tonight. Mm, 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 mm. You will not stay in that low place. I hear God saying, so get ready to come out. Hallelujah. 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 And many of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. Many of you are going to come out. Hallelujah. With your hands lifted to God in total surrendering. Glory to God. See, see, it was good that you were afflicted. It was good that the enemy came up against you. You're going to see in the end. Hallelujah. God says you're going to see in the end why it's good for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father in heaven, we thank you on tonight, Father God. We love you tonight, Father. We glorify you. Hallelujah. Those of you that are praying along with me, come on, lift your hands in his presence. Hallelujah. Begin to tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Begin to begin to love on God. Come on. Begin to tell him how much you need him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's saturate this atmosphere with worship. Let's saturate this atmosphere with praise. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. If you need something from the Lord tonight, come on. Stretch out. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Don't hold back on your praise. Amen. Don't hold back on your worship tonight. Glory to God. Right where you are in the comfort of your home, wherever you may be tonight. You may be at work right now. Listen, give God glory. Hallelujah. You may be in the comfort of your home. Give God praise. Glory to God. Come on, wherever you are tonight, begin to bless the King. Hallelujah. Begin to bless Jesus. Hallelujah. Right in your atmosphere. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Before we pray, 
Many of you, you need your you need your atmosphere saturated with worship. Glory to God. I hear the Lord saying before we pray, hallelujah, because some of you are just looking at me. You're not saying anything. Some of you are just, you know, it's like you're, you're, in, you're in a fog. Some of you are just in a fog right now. Hallelujah. But begin to focus on God. Glory to God. Some of you are just sitting there and you don't really have much to say. Yes, God, I hear you. The Lord says, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Begin to open your mouth. Glory to God. Begin to praise him. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Even if it's a faint, thank you, Jesus. Even if it's a, a, a Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give God some praise tonight. See, hallelujah is the highest praise. Glory to God. Come on, come on, come on. Let's worship him tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Glory to God. I love him so much. Hallelujah. One thing I know about God is he's an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. He's an awesome God. He's a God that will show up just in the nick of time. I said just in the nick of time, he will show up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, think back to the last thing that God did for you. Think back to the last storm God brought you out of. Come on, think, think back to the last time when you needed healing in your body and God showed up. Come on. Hallelujah. Think back. Come on. Don't let the enemy destroy your worship. Don't let the enemy destroy your praise. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Begin to bless him. Come on. Begin to love on him. Come on. God is faithful. I say God is faithful. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. God is faithful. Come on. Come on. Participate in worship tonight. Come on. Worship Jesus with me tonight. Come on. Worship the Lord with us tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Lift your hands and tell them thank you. Oh, glory to God. Some of you have a reason to praise God. Some of you have a reason and a right to bless him. Hallelujah. Because if you were to tell your testimony, my God, my God, some people wouldn't believe the fact that you're still here. My God, my God. Mm. Some people wouldn't even believe the fact that you still got the activity of your limbs and the articulation of speech and you could clap your hands and give them glory. Some people would not believe that you are a walking miracle. Woo, who am I encouraging on tonight? Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, come out of that place tonight. Come out of that place. Come on, come out of that place of darkness. Come on, come out of the valley tonight. Come on, come on, come out, come out, come out. Come on, come out. God has been too good to you. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come out of, the, of that place of darkness. Come on, come out of that place. Come out, come out tonight. Hey, how you about shape? Hallelujah, God is pulling you out now. Come on, come out with your worship. Come out with your hands lifted. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, we're going to press in worship tonight. Hallelujah, I have to be obedient to the Lord before we go any further. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not going to rush the word tonight. How you about shape? Glory to God. Come on, God wants to do something in you tonight. Come on, he wants to do something in you tonight. He wants to do something in you tonight. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Let the tears fall down your face. It's okay. Come on. Let the worship, let the worship ring out of your spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on. Let the rivers of living water flow today. Higher by shape. Let the rivers of living water, let the worship flow out of you. Come on, come on. You know how to worship your God. You know how to praise your God. Come on. I know the devil been messing with you. I know many of you are in a messed up season. I know. Glory to God, but you're getting ready to come out. Higher by shape. Come on, come on. Press in with your worship. Press in, press in. Come on, some of you are coming out even now. Mm. Hallelujah. Some of you haven't worshiped God in a long time. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Some of you haven't even been in church in a long time. Ha, ah, glory to God. But tonight is your night of freedom. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. Glory to God. I see the shackles being broken off of you. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Press in tonight. Come on, press in, press in. Some of you are right there. Come on, come on. Walk around your house. How you about shape? Come on, walk around your room. Come on, come on. Stretch out. Stretch out tonight. Stretch out, stretch out, stretch out. Stretch out. Come on. Come on. Some of you are right there. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Give them glory. Come on. Give them praise. Come on. Give them honor. Hey. How you did your shot? He's worthy of the praise. Come on, saints. Come on, people of God. Press in tonight. Come on. Press in with your worship. Somebody may say it don't take all that. 
It takes all of that and more. My God, my God. It takes all of that and more. Come on, woman of God, Betty. It takes all of that and more. Hey, how you about shape? Because how many of you know when you start worshiping God, when you start praising God, it's going to go into tomorrow. And then it's going to go into the next day. Then your worship going to go into the next day. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Then your worship going to go into the next day. And before you know it, you're going to have a whole week of worship. Higher than the old shot. So when you've been praising God all week long, Hallelujah. And the devil going to be looking at you like, why are you praising God when I'm throwing everything your way? And that's where you're going to give God the praise that is due unto his name. And you're going to give the devil a good black eye. Hallelujah. With your praise and with your worship. Ha, glory. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The Lord says tonight, as you are worshiping him, you are pulling down those strongholds. Ha, Glory to God. The Bible says, enter into his courts with praise. The Bible says, enter into his courts with thanksgiving. Give God some praise tonight. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let me be the only one praising him tonight. Don't let me be the only one with hands lifted tonight. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if you can praise him in the valley, you're getting ready to experience the mountaintop. So if you can, if you can bless the Lord in the valley, mm, whoo, God, if you can praise him in the valley, we can ready to pray, y'all. Glory to God. If you can praise God in the valley, whoo, who am I talking to? If you can praise them in a dark place, hey, if you can praise them with the bills stacked on the table, if you can praise them and you don't know how you're coming out of that situation, if you can praise God right now, right here, tonight, let me tell you something, glory to God, your mountaintop experience, uh, hallelujah, is going to be mind-blowing because you have learned to bless the Lord at all times. See, David said, I will bless the Lord. Hey, he didn't just say, I'm going to bless God when everything is good. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Woo! Hallelujah. He said in his praise. Come on, Sister Carmen. Hallelujah. Press in tonight. Glory, glory, glory. As the song says, I give it all. I give it all to Jesus. Hallelujah. We give it all to the Lord tonight. Come on, come on. Press in right here. Press in. Press in. Press in. Mm, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Press in. Press in, press in. Hallelujah. I see somebody coming out tonight. Come on, press in, press in. You're right there. You're right there. Come on, shout. I give it all to you. Come on, shout. I give it all to you, Lord. I give it all to you. My worship, my praise, my tears. Ah, glory, glory, glory. Somebody tonight, give God your tears. Hallelujah. Give them your tears. Give them your tears. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Give God your tears. Come on, give him your tears. Give him your tears. Give him your worship. Hallelujah. God is not through. He's not through. God is not through. Come on, stay right there. And sometimes you got to just stay in his presence. Sometimes you just got to press in his presence. Hallelujah. There's a song that says, if I could just press in your presence. Hallelujah. God, I know things will be better. If I could just stretch out. Hallelujah. In your presence, God. If I could just give you the glory that is due unto your name without you blessing me, without you giving me anything, God. Hallelujah. If I could just press in your presence. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout, I want to press tonight. Mm. I need to press in his presence. Some of you have been pressed in his presence in a long time. Glory, 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 glory. Some of you have not pressed in the Lord's presence in a long time because your situation has overtaken you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to press in his presence. Somebody shout, Lord, help me to press in tonight. Ah, glory, glory, glory. Come on. Somebody shout, Lord, help me to press in tonight. Come on. I, I know the enemy is raging in your life. I know it seems like you're not coming out. I want to encourage you before we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, when God said enter into his courts with praise, he meant that. Glory to God. A lot of times we rush God. A lot of times we're so anxious because we want to hear the word. But how many of you know, listen, the blessing is in your worship. The blessing is in your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where the blessing is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Katina, that's where the blessing is. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do not own the rights to this song, 
But I'm going to play a little bit of it. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. She said, if I could just press. Behind me, yeah. Mm. Yes, God. She said, I still believe. I will lay at your feet. Woo. I will be whole. I will still believe. I will just praise. Praise at your feet. Right here in your presence. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We're going to stay right here for a minute, y'all. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, if I could just press. If I could just stay in the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Mm. Yes, behold the beauty mm. of your faith. Mm. Place again. If I could just pray. Mm. Yes, God. Behind me. Yeah, God. I still believe. I will just lay. Lay at your feet. I will be home. I still believe. I will just pray. Praise at your feet. I will be home. Yes, God. Mm. I will just lay, lay at your feet. Glory, 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 glory. Mm. Yes, God. Pray, praise at your feet. Right here in your presence. My God, my God. Somebody shout right here, right here. Mm. Right here in your presence. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, Lord. You call me your own. Hallelujah. I give you me. Yes, Lord. Mm. Woo. God wants us tonight. He wants our worship. He wants our praise. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. He calls you his own. <laughs> Yes, God. Mm. You rule the world, Jesus. Hey, you still want me. Yes, God. Take my heart. Take my mind. Take my soul. Never let me go. Yeah, God. Take my heart. Take my mind. Never let me go. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just praise the people of God. Come on, let's just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Come on, right where you are. Right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we're going to press in your presence tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you tonight, God. Mm. We thank you for being our deliverer. We thank you for being our healer. Hey, glory. We thank you for being our sustainer. Yes, God. We thank you for being our healer. Higher by Hey, somebody needs healing tonight. Somebody needs healing tonight. Yes, God. Somebody needs healing tonight. Glory, glory, glory. He's healing your body even in this time of worship. God is healing your spirit even in this time of worship. He says he's healing you. Higher by Hey. He says he's healing you from anxiety, from depression. Higher by shape. In the name of Jesus, God is healing you tonight. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. She said, take my soul. Never let me go. <laughs> Woo. Glory. She said, take my soul. Hey. hey. Mm. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Anybody want the Lord to take their soul tonight? She said, take my soul, never let me go. Never let me go, Lord. Right here in your presence. Hallelujah. To God be all of the glory. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you tonight, Father. With hands lifted in the air, God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Father, we thank you for the moving of your spirit thus far. Lord, I lift up every person under the sound of my voice, God. And I just say thank you right now, Father, for what you're doing in their life. 
Oh God, we take this time to repent of our sins, Father. We don't want anything to hinder the moving of your spirit, oh God, for you are still yet moving. Holy Spirit, have thine way tonight. Oh God, move on this broadcast tonight. Move on Instagram Live. Move on Facebook Live tonight. Oh God, move on our prayer line tonight. Touch each and every person under the sound of my voice, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I humbly submit to your way and to your will tonight. Father, I ask that you speak through these lips of clay, Lord God. Minister to your people as only you can, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I decrease that you would increase on tonight. Oh God, use me for your glory, oh God. And have thine way tonight, Holy Spirit. Oh God, I bind every spirit of jealousy, mm -hmm, envy, and strife on tonight. I come against it now by the power and the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you even now for greater understanding for your people. That they will begin to understand who you are. That they will begin to understand your word. That they will begin to understand your spirit on tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And God, I give you glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for this word that you have given me to release to your people tonight, oh God. Thank you for strengthening your people even now. Strengthen every member, every covenant partner of this ministry, oh God. Strengthen every person that is connected to this ministry, Lord. Oh God, send forth your strength tonight. Give them strength to keep on running to see what the end is going to be. Give them strength even now, Father, that they will continue to have faith in you, oh God. Oh God, give them faith even now on tonight, greater faith. Oh God, give them unshakable faith tonight that they will continue to believe you for the promise. Whatever you have promised them, Father, it shall manifest. Oh God, give them strength and tenacity and endurance to hold on to see what the end is going to be. Father, we thank you for doing it now. We praise you for doing it now. And it's in Jesus' mighty name I do pray. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise tonight. Hallelujah. I feel like today has been a day of outpouring. Amen. Um, I had a few prophetic counseling sessions in the morning. Um, then I had to do some sessions tonight. Amen. After we got off live um, around about 5, 30, 6 o'clock um, on today. Amen. I came on Facebook Live. Some of you can see that uh, message on my page here on Facebook if you desire to hear the word of the Lord. Um, but I thank God for what he's doing. I really believe that the Lord is, is speaking in such a way now to where those who have an ear to hear him will hear what he's saying. What do I mean by that? Everybody does not have an ear to hear God, you know, um, and we talked about it on Monday, how prophecy is now taking over the church. Don't get me wrong. I love prophecy. God says, do not. Um, covet prophecy. He said, I'm sorry. He said covet prophecy, which means to embrace prophecy. Amen. The Lord said to love it. Covet means to love. And so Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So we are to love prophecy, but we cannot get to the place to where prophecy takes, takes away from the word of God, because it's the word of God that's going to keep you. Amen. Prophecy is only confirmation of what God already showed you, what God has already told you. And then it may be a word of knowledge, amen, that God is going to give to you through the mouth of the prophet. So because of that, you can't get caught up in prophecy. Because to be honest, if you receive a prophecy, listen to this, and you're not in obedience to God, you're going to be waiting a very long time for that prophetic word to come to pass. Amen. Prophecy is predicated upon our obedience to the Lord. God bless you, Sister Felicia, tonight. Amen. Prophecy is predicated. Listen, it's only going to manifest if you are obedient to God. That's how prophecy works. So you can have 10 prophecies. You know, you can have 20 prophecies that you're waiting to manifest. It's not until you come into proper alignment with God. And this is why the Lord has been saying many of you need a covering. Many of you need a pastor. Listen, I don't care the last church that hurt you. Okay, that was the last church. I don't care about the last pastor that did you wrong. That was the last pastor. Listen, it does not matter because your life depends on the blessings of the Lord, right? And if you don't get to a place to where you become obedient to God, where you become in proper alignment with him, come on, then what, what he promised is not going to manifest. 
Come on. And many of you know how to obey God. It's just sometimes you just need a reminder. Sometimes you need encouragement. Come on, because the enemy's job is to do what? John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but to kill and to steal and to destroy, right? But Jesus has come that you might have life and have it that more abundantly. Amen. So Jesus has come to give you the abundant life, but just know the work and the job of the enemy. See, the enemy is going to fight you and that is his job. And just know the higher that you go in God, the greater the devils you're going to face. Come on, you're going to face some strong demons. Come on here. For those of you that are anointed, those of you that are called by God, this is why you have to surround yourself with like-minded believers. Come on, and you need a ministry that can pray with you and pray you through. Come on here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, there's nothing wrong with having a spiritual parent. I have a lot of spiritual children, spiritual sons, and spiritual daughters. Listen to this. But see, my spiritual sons and my spiritual daughters don't get all that my members get. What does that mean? What does that mean? I am their pastor. I am my members. I'm their pastor. So I teach them the word of God. But if I'm your spiritual mother, you might get a text message every now and then. You might get a phone call from me checking up how you're doing. You may need um, prayer for something specific at that time. You might need me to show up somewhere. Right. And so that's the difference between a spiritual parent. Right. But many of you need a covering. Listen, you need someone to cover you, cover your children. If you're married, cover you and your spouse. That's the job of a pastor. Listen, I know a lot of people are shucking and jiving, but you still got some pastors who are living holy. Come on. Let, let me encourage about seven of y'all. Listen, you, you still got some pastors that's living right. Everybody ain't fornicating. Everybody ain't committing adultery. Everybody is not lying and stealing and all of that foolishness. Come on. You still have some ministries. Now, there's no perfect church. All right. There's no perfect church, but we serve a perfect God. Right. Let me just help somebody because many of you are looking in the flesh and you're missing the spirit. Uh oh. That's a word for a few of you. I just felt God's anointing being released. Listen, you can't look in the flesh and expect something spiritual. Come on. You can't stay focused on the flesh and expect God to move spiritually. It does not happen that way. Amen. And a lot of people just want somebody to, that they can see. That's why you got paper. That's why you got people to say, I need a pastor that I can see every Sunday. Right? Yes, you can have a virtual leader. You can be a, a part of a virtual ministry. The question is, if you are out of state, can you be, can it be virtual? Yes. I cover a lot of people that live in Florida. I cover people that live back in my hometown. I cover people that live in um, Ohio. Amen. My furthest member is in California. Amen. Our sister Lisa, she's in California. She's been a member for over three years. Amen. And I pastor her very well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. I have some members in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. I have members all over the globe. Glory to God. Yeah. Delaware. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm saying this, Texas. Glory to God. I'm saying this because it is possible for you to have a leader. I don't know why God is shifting me, but we're going to stay right here. That's right. Connecticut. Glory to God. Listen, some of you and I'm talking to those of you that don't have a covering. I'm talking to those of you that don't have a leader. You have to have a pastor in your life. Listen, listen, listen. Let, let me, I, I hear God. I got to stay right here. I, I can't be disobedient to the Lord because many of you, your families are lacking the blessings of God because you don't have a covering. See, the enemy is fighting many of you and you don't know how to fight the enemy because you, you don't you don't hear the word. Come on. If you were hearing the word, you would know what it means to put on the whole armor of God. Come on. See, now that's a right now word. But see, a lot of people believe prophecy is a right now word. No. If I tell you where the money is, let's say I, I prophesy over every person and I, I prophesy financial, a financial miracle. God's going to do it because I spoke it out of my mouth. He's going to honor my word. But what if you need healing in your body? Speak Holy Ghost. See, see, what if you need a healing? What if you have cancer and you need a healing? Do you need money or do you need to be healed? Oh, come on. Come on. Let's lay this foundation tonight. Hallelujah. Do, do you need money or do you need a healing? 
Come on. <laughs> That's right. You need us. You need a healing. You need God. Hallelujah. To uproot that cancer. Hey, glory to God and destroy it in Jesus name. You need God to heal you completely. You don't need mo no money. Come on. You, you see the difference? But now, amen, you have prophets who are prophesying money and riches and wealth. There's nothing wrong with that. Amen. Because God wants us to be blessed. But why does God bless us financially? Holy Ghost is, 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 is just shifting my whole message. Listen, why does God bless us financially? He blesses you financially to be a giver. He, God doesn't bless you financially for you to hold what he has given you. He blesses you with seed to give it. Come on, what does the Bible say? That God gives seed unto the sower, right? He gives bread to those who are hungry, right? Come on, he'll give you water if you are thirsty, right? Come on, he is our supplier. He is He's the giver of all things, come on. So whatever you need, hallelujah, he's more than able, glory to God, to give it unto you. Let's read Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. This is our key verse tonight. Glory to God. Somebody shout, God is more than able. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody shout God is more than able. Hallelujah. But it's according to your faith. Be it unto you. Amen. And see, this is why you need a pastor. You need a leader. You need an apostle. You know why? Because they help you with the word of God, right? They strengthen your faith through the word of God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. Come on. And hearing by the word of God. So if you don't, if you're not hearing the word, come on, which the word comes from your leader. If you're not hearing the word, then how can your spirit man be strengthened? See, prophecy is good. Come on, listen, but, but we got to come off of that. Listen, some of you have prophetic words that have been released over your life. Now you need to get into a place of obedience and alignment, which means you need to now be accountable. Come on. So if no one is holding you accountable, see, this is why you need a ministry because ministries hold you accountable. <laughs> Come on, um, your ministry, that, it, it, it's a difference being a part of a ministry or being a part of a church. But if you're not accountable to God first and then to leadership, how can you be developed? How can you grow? Come on, how can you be stretched in the things of God? And if there's a calling on your life, guess what? You need to be developed. Come on, you need to be developed in your calling. Come on. I share often and I tell you all often because I didn't just I didn't just get to this place overnight where I am in God, Sister Michelle. It took many years. It took leaders pouring into me. It took hands being laid on me. Come on. Y'all don't want to talk. See, I had to get delivered, Sister Tessa. Come on here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I had to get delivered. I had to purge just like many of you purge. When you come to this ministry, you vomiting, throwing up and all of that stuff. Why? Glory to God, because everybody has to purge. Glory to God. This is why you come out to the conference. This is why you come to the revival, to get your healing. This is why you come to the house of God. Hallelujah. We don't come to the house to play. We don't come to the house of God. We don't come to church to look at everybody. You come to get your healing. You come to get your deliverance. Hallelujah, because that's what God has just for you. Glory to God. And then you go out to the highways and the byways and you compel men and women to come back to God. Somebody shout, that's the great commission. Come on, see, 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 pastors don't preach about that no more. You got apostles now, they're so big right now, they don't even want to talk about the gospel. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. We got so many, many um, leaders in the body of Christ. See, God is shifting me again. I got to go here. I got to go here because what you follow, you become. Oh, this is good. This is good tonight. This is good. What you follow, Sister Shana, you eventually become. Come on. And if you're not following the right leader, and that leader has to be following God, who is preaching the gospel, who is living holy. I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting in trouble because some pastors is watching me and they ain't living holy. Glory to God. Come on here. Hallelujah. It's time for you to really live holy, and it's time for you to really live right. And then you can go out into the highways and the byways and you can preach the gospel and people will want to hear what you have to say because now you have been processed. Come on. Now you have gone through the fire. Who am I helping tonight? Now you know how to suffer. Glory to God. You don't complain every time you're going through something. You don't run your mouth all the time. Why? Because God has developed you. Come on. Come on. See, once we get saved, that's not the end. After you get saved, you got to get delivered. Come on. 
After you get saved, you got to get healed. How do you know you got to get healed? Because every family has generational curses. Oh, this is good. But they're not talking about that. <laughs> Come on here. they telling you how wonderful you are. You know, now these ministries are telling you, oh, it's a calling on your life. Let me ordain you. Okay, ordain you for what? And you don't even know how to... Let me bring it on in. <laughs> I got I got to reel it on in. Because y'all know I can go all the way out in the deep with that one. Hi, Shay. And God's going to hold those leaders accountable too. Oh, yeah. On the day of judgment, he's going to hold those leaders accountable. That's why I'm very careful who I welcome into this ministry. And if there's a calling on your life, I handle you with care. Glory to God. The reason why I handle you with care, because you're God's servant. You're not my servant. You are God's servant. Come on here. And if you need to be healed, delivered, and set free, it's my job as the leader to help you with that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why family curses must be broken. They must be destroyed. Nobody's talking about that. You know why? Because they don't flow in deliverance. But what did Jesus say? He said, greater works than these shall you do. Glory to God. That's why I'm very careful when people say that God has called them. He has called you to do what? Come on. Because if you're not walking in the greater works or your desire is not to walk in the greater works, then I have to question your calling. I have to question who God has called you to be. If all you do is prophesy, hallelujah, and your church is full of prophetic junkies, then I have to, I got to, I got to look at that. I got to, I got to examine that fruit because I have to say, do I want to be a part of that? Come on here. See, see, some of you have options. <laughs> Speak Holy Ghost. You have options of where you are to fellowship. Glory to God. And this is why God opens your eyes when you become a part of a ministry or you become a part of a church. He will show you the spirit that is flowing in that ministry. Glory to God. And if it's not the spirit of the Lord, hey, speak Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Then you need to depart from that place. Because what you partake of, you eventually become. Come on. It's just like eating fruit. Come on here. You eat enough of that fruit. You digest that fruit. You become that fruit. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. God say, eat a little bit of love. And after a while you start eating the fruit of love, the next thing you know, you start loving everybody. Come on. He say, no, eat a little bit of this joy. Come on, eat some of this joy. I need to restore your joy. Now come on over here and eat some joy. Next thing you know, you got the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that seed has been planted inside of you and you got to grow now. Hey, glory to God. You got to grow. You got to develop. Hallelujah. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Now, if you've joined a ministry or you're a part of a church and you have not grown, it's either one or two things that are happening. It's either the word is going forth and you're not, you're not taking in the word. <laughs> so you got a disobedient spirit or there's no real word going forth. Everything is on the surface and you're trying to figure out where to jump in. You know, you're like, wait a minute. Where, where, where do I jump in? Where do I partake of this? Wait a minute. I'm not getting this. Come on. So it's one or two things that are happening. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody's catching this revelation tonight. Oh, that's why I'm not growing. That's why you're not growing. Hallelujah. Because there's not enough trees that are in the sanctuary. There's not enough trees as leaders. I'm getting in trouble tonight. Because see, a leader is a tree. Speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And see, the leader has to have fruit on their tree. Speak Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that, listen, that leader, that pastor, that apostle, that bishop, Whoever is, is, is in leadership has to have fruit on their tree. Now, if there's no fruit on their tree, you cannot partake of anything because there's no fruit there. All you see is a tree. <laughs> I can go to the word on that too. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said a tree that doesn't bear any fruit, he cuts it down. Uh-oh. 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 Glory to God. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. If you don't have a uh, fruit on your tree, the Lord says, I got to devour that. How do we know? Because when Jesus was hungry, he went over to the fig tree and he looked and he said, there's no figs on this tree. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, wait a minute. It's time for me to eat. I done fasted. And now this, this, this fig tree has no figs on it. What does the Bible say? <laughs> Jesus said, oh, this tree is going to die and wither away. And what happened? It did just that. Come on. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as leaders in the body of Christ, let me just say this and we're going to move on. You got to have fruit on your tree for the people of God. See, it's not enough to have a gift. Glory to God. This is why I don't come on Facebook Live and prophesy all the time. Because I don't want you to know me by prophecy. Hallelujah. Because if you only know me by prophecy, God has, God has gifted me to pastor his people. He has graced me and anointed me to pastor his people. So if I only stay in the vein of prophecy, then that's all you're going to know me by is a prophet. Come on here. And a lot of times people disrespect the prophet. Or a lot of times people only come to the prophet to hear a prophetic word from the Lord. Glory to God. But if God has graced me and anointed me to teach you the word of God, that's my responsibility. Come on. And as leaders, we have to know what's needed for the people at that time. Yeah. See the difference? But that requires discernment for the leader. Oh, this is good tonight. Holy Ghost is teaching. That requires great discernment for the leader. Hallelujah. See, the leader has to know when it's time to pray. The leader has to know when it's time to praise. The leader has to know when it's time to be quiet. Oh, y'all don't want to talk. And I'm talking about for the people. But see, if the leader is constantly prophesying, come on, see, prophecy, help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. God, you want me to say this? I hear the Lord. See, prophecy only draws a certain group of people. <laughs> come on here. <laughs> Somebody shout, I love prophecy, but I'm really tired of it. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody shout, I love prophecy. I got so many prophecies that I'm waiting to come to pass. But right about now, I don't need the prophet to prophesy to me anymore. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. You need a teacher in your life. Woo, glory. You need a pastor that can help you and teach you the word of God. That can feed you the word of God. See, because now it's time for you to develop. Now it's time for you to grow. Glory to God. You don't need another prophet. Now, don't get me wrong, people of God. Listen, I love prophecy. Friday nights, we have the night of the prophetic. We are here. Amen. And I prophesy to each and every person that's on the live. Glory to God. I don't have a problem with that. Hallelujah. Because I can prophesy in my sleep, literally. Glory to God. Prophecy, literally. Listen, when God has birthed you out as his prophet, it is easy. You know, it's not made up. It's not conjured up. Glory to God. I don't have to pray in tongues for 10 minutes just to give you a prophetic word from the Lord. Higher did the old shot. God can speak to me immediately just by reading your name. Hallelujah. Some of you I can see right in your house, even now. Glory to God. Higher did the old shot. Hallelujah. But it's not my responsibility at that time if God is not releasing me in that vein. Come on here. <laughs> Hallelujah. And what has happened with our prophets, listen to this. Prophets have been taken over with a seducing spirit. Come on. The prophets and the prophetess have been taken over with a seducing spirit. There's a saying, just because you can doesn't mean that you should. I can get on Facebook Live every morning, every afternoon, and every evening and prophesy. I could do that with my eyes closed. You could just tell me your name. Glory to God. And I could just prophesy to you just like that. I could release the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so it's not something magical or mystical. And you know, oh my goodness, the prophet told me that, that God going to use me for his glory. Okay, you already knew that. But the prophet's job, speak Holy Ghost. The prophet's job is to teach you and to tell you what it is that you need to do. The prophet has to give you instruction. Yes, Lord. The prophet's job, now see, this is why a lot of prophets ain't prophesying. They prophesying on the, on, the, on the surface. They're not really going deep with the prophetic word. Why? Because they're not deep in the realm of the spirit. Come on. So, yes, I can tell you that God's going to use you. But if you got sin in your life, it's my job as a prophet to tell you to come out of sin. See, see true prophets are not doing that anymore. Come on here. They just going to tell you where the money is. <laughs> Come on, y'all know I'm telling the truth. And then they're going to give you a seed amount. They're going to tell you, oh, the Lord say, Psalm 51, so a $51 seed. Really? 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 And then some of you think that that's God. Whew. Lord have mercy. Somebody on here tonight, the Lord may tell you to sow a $1,000 seed. But if I start prophesying and I say, oh, the Lord says so a $51 seed because we reading Psalm 51 tonight. 
But if somebody on a Facebook Live, they say, I'm ready to sow a thousand dollar seed. What have I just done? I just limited their blessing. Come on, because I got greedy with a seed amount. Y'all don't want to talk. And that's what the prophets see. This, this is why I get in trouble. I get in trouble with people that's on my page, Sister Felicia, and they start not liking me because I'm telling the truth. See, God speaks to me and he shows me a lot of things about his church. I don't say everything. Come on, because if I was to say everything that God showed me, I, I probably wouldn't have no followers, no friends, no nothing. You know, and sometimes it's, I'm laughing, but it's enough to grieve my spirit because the church is really in a bad place right now. Do y'all know that? Do, do y'all know that the state of the church is not in a good place right now? That's why Jesus said the righteous are only going to scarcely make it in. Woo! Glory to God. Everybody's not going to make it in the kingdom. You can call him Yahshua HaMashiach. You can call him El El Yan. You can call, you can call him all these big, wonderful names. You can know all the names of God and still live like the devil and be on your way to hell. That's why I'm not, I'm not caught up, <laughs> you know, in all of the hype. <laughs> you understand? Glory to God. And many of you, you shouldn't be caught up with the hype either. Examine the fruit of that person. Hallelujah. If you listen long enough, you'll hear their heart. Come on, somebody. If you listen long enough, you'll see their motive if they have one. Come on here. Hallelujah. We have to get back to discernment. And that's, that's the state of the church right now. There's no discernment. Glory to God. This is why people are able to get over. And this is why people are able to shuck and jive and pimp the people of God. Come on. Woe unto the leaders that are doing that. Woe unto you. Come out of it and repent. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of that. Come out of that, says the Lord. Come out of that. Hallelujah. Repent tonight. Glory to God. Repent tonight. I don't know who I'm talking to. Glory to God. But if it's the leader that's on here and you are caught up in sin, glory to God. Repent tonight. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. See, God loves us that much. Amen. That he'll send us into his presence to speak a word to us, to get us back on the street called straight. Glory to God. He loves us just that much. Amen. And I love God. Y'all don't understand. See, because when I was in sin, still trying to preach, pray and prophesy. Listen to this. God always sent the prophet to pull me to the side. And you know what the prophet said to me? You know, you guys prophet, but you got to come out of sin. I couldn't deny it. I couldn't say you don't know what you're talking about. Come on. But I knew. Hallelujah. See, th those was my prophecies when I was in sin. See, I don't know about some of y'all. Some of y'all get these wonderful, fabulous prophecies and you just a line. You still in on the job. You an adulterer. You just doing all kinds of stuff. Never repented for anything. Come on. I received that word for almost two years. The Lord say, come out of sin. And when I thought I was all the way out, Sister Felicia, I wasn't all the way out. See, just be yes, Lord, I hear you. We're going to go here. Just because your body is not actually doing the sin, your mind has to be delivered. <laughs> Glory to God. Holy Ghost is teaching tonight. Somebody got the answer. See, because what happens with the enemy, he works on the mind. That's why Jesus said, let this mind be in you, <laughs> which was also in Christ Jesus. Come on. So the spirit of lust and perversion has to be uprooted out of you. You might have been a lesbian. You might have been a homosexual. You might have been a fornicator. You might have been a drug dealer. Whatever sin you was in, it captivated your mind. Come on. It got a hold. It got a hold of your mind. So now, yes, your body has to be delivered. And, and you might not be practicing it anymore. But this mind right here. See, see, this is why you need the word of God. Hallelujah. This is why you need hands laid on you. <laughs> Some of y'all need the devil cast out of you. <laughs> Glory to God. And you talking about, I ain't stepping foot in the church no more. No, you better step foot in church. Some of y'all saying, I ain't going back to church. COVID-19 is real. Yes, it's real. But guess what? If you can wear a mask to Walmart, you can wear a mask to church and get the devil off of your back. 
I was just on the plane last week and we were sitting so close to each other. I said, and Lord, they shut down the churches, but you got people right next to each other on the plane and people want to talk the whole, the whole plane ride. I'm like, can you be quiet? Cause you might have COVID. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The airport didn't shut down, but they shut down our churches. And some of y'all still went to the grocery store. You, you, you wasn't fearful then. <laughs> you, you wasn't fearful to go grocery shopping. <laughs> to get all your snacks and stuff. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Come on here. You didn't stay in the house and fast for 30 days. You went right out to that grocery store, masked up and everything. Hand sanitizer. Come on. Oh, I'm going to use my hand sanitizer. I ain't touching the cart till I wipe it off. <laughs> Come on here. But y'all can't even step foot in church where the power of God is. Hey, hallelujah. Where God, listen, he destroys COVID-19 at the door. Come on. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Glory to God. That's right. Arm to arm on the plane. I said, what is going on? You even look a little bit to the left. You see about five people. You look a little bit to the right. You see about five more people. You're like, wait a minute. Don't you cough. <laughs> I'm ready to lay hands on the plane. Okay. All right. <laughs> Man, why you just let, touch me? I'm a, I'm a prophet. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> see, that's why I can't go a lot of places. Amen. <laughs> See, you, you can't turn the prophetic off. You can't turn, listen, the anointing is still on you. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. I could be talking to somebody, having a regular conversation. Next thing you know, they start crying. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. I'm like, God. Woo. See, the, the anointing, you can't turn it off. See, see, when God has anointed you, he has graced you to do something. You can't turn that off. Come on, he don't shut my eyes down, especially when I close them. He show me more. Come on, prophet. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Glory to God. Your eyes can be closed and you see more in the spirit with your eyes closed. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave that alone. Somebody said that's just a little too much. <laughs> Hallelujah. You sure you want to be a prophet? Are you sure? You sure God called you as his prophet? Having those dreams, they ain't nightmares. No, those are real dreams that you are having, prophetic dreams. God is revealing stuff to you. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is revealing stuff to you in your dreams. See, he speaks to the prophet even through dreams. Ah, glory to God. Holy Ghost is teaching tonight. Pay attention to your dreams, prophet. Write your dreams down. Write the time of the dream down. Write it down. If you dreamt about somebody, it may not mean exactly what happened in the dream, but there is meaning. Oh, yeah, there is meaning. <laughs> Glory to God. I just had a dream about a few people the other day, and I told the person about it, and it happened immediately. And when it happened, the person was like, oh, my goodness. I said, uh-huh. Come on here. Yes, right? It's the truth. Amen. <laughs> God is always speaking. Hallelujah. God is always speaking. Woo! Glory to God. I feel his presence tonight. God is always speaking. God is encouraging somebody tonight. Glory to God. Sister Tracy says, I am a dreamer. There you go, Sister Tracy. Get you a journal from our ministry and start writing your, your dreams down. Write your prophetic dreams down. Hallelujah. And some of you need to even pray over your dreams. It's okay. Glory to God. And if you don't understand your dream, ask God to give you the revelation. Ask God to give you the interpretation. Now be careful who you seek out though. Because you don't want to seek out a witch or a warlock. And you know, they start twisting your dream around. And you're like, wait a minute. Come on here. And they start speaking stuff. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. Help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. Something just came back to my remembrance. Glory to God. I remember I was on the phone with a young lady. And this was a counseling session. And before the session, I didn't even know this woman. She just requested counseling. I think she was from Barbados. I can't remember uh, what region she was from. But I remember, God bless you, Nurse Nay, tonight. I remember doing a counseling session. And right before the session, I started feeling sick. And I said, okay, guys, something is wrong. I'm sharing this to help somebody. 
I'm sharing this to help somebody. You got to be careful who you tell your dreams to. And you have to be careful who's speaking over you and into your life. Listen to this. God said, God says, just, just say it. He took me back. This was years ago. And I remember right before the session, I started getting sick. Migraine, headache, my stomach was turned. And I said, what is going on here? So I prayed, laid hands on myself. I even drunk some of our blessed anointed oil and I felt better. And as soon as I dialed into the prayer line for the session, as soon as the lady opened her mouth and started talking, I felt something come upon me. So now I had to mute my phone out and I'm I had to pray in the spirit. And as this lady was talking, listen, y'all, she was a witch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People were, listen, by any means necessary. See, I'm saying this to help somebody by any means necessary. People would try their best to kill, steal and to destroy you. Do y'all know this lady started talking about people's ears being cut off and she started talking about, yeah, you know, they slicing the throat of the child next door and she began to talk crazy. She began to talk real crazy, real crazy. She said, you know how you get sick and you start throwing up and you feel like your tongue is coming out your mouth. Y'all better watch those type of people. See, I'm helping somebody right here. You got to watch those conversations. And if you're not strong enough and you don't know how to pray in the spirit, hang that phone up. Hang that phone up. <laughs> hang that phone up. How you did your shot. But see, the Lord had me to begin to speak to the witch. I wasn't speaking to the person. I was speaking to the spirit in her. <laughs> Listen to this. How you did your shot. As she was talking, I said, oh, okay, for real. Mm-hmm. You think? And as she knew that I was coming on to what it is that she was trying to do and what she was trying to release over the phone, I began to war in the spirit. Hiya, did your shot. And I began to pray in the Holy Ghost. And as I was praying in the Holy Ghost, I'm helping you. What is it? Um, Ab Abby, Abby, I'm helping you to God be the glory. As I begin to pray, Sister Sequita, in the Holy Ghost, hiya, did your shot. The woman began to say, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, no, 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 no. I said, we ain't waiting nothing. Hiya, bashe. I said, God said, touch not his anointed and do his prophets no harm. I said, you either want to get delivered or you're going to hang up this phone. And she was like, wait, 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 wait. I said, yeah, you ancestral witch. And I begin to call. Oh, y'all don't want to. Glory to God. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all see how my phone just fell? Y'all see that? Because see, I'm exposing the devil. Hiya, by shape. My phone just fell all by itself, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. Hiya, did your shot. Because I'm helping somebody tonight. God done shifted my whole message. He done shifted my, he, God, God has shifted everything in this atmosphere. Hey, glory to God. So that somebody can learn. So that somebody can come out of something. You got to be careful people that's talking and speaking over your life. Even the spirit of profanity. Don't let people cuss at you. Don't let people talk down to you. Don't let people degrade you. Come on here. Hallelujah. I am against abuse. On every level, mental abuse, physical abuse, spiritual abuse. Abuse is not right. Glory to God, any type of abuse. Don't let nobody abuse you. Don't let nobody talk down to you. Hallelujah, because those are seeds. And those are words that are put into your spirit. And if you're not careful, before you know it, you'll start looking real crazy like them. Come on, you'll start looking cuckoo and crazy like them. Come on, you'll start looking real cuckoo and crazy. And then by the time you come into the presence of your pastor or your leader, they say, where you been? Who you been talking to? Ha, ah, glory. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Come on here. Hallelujah. And if those spirits have overtaken you, after a while, you'll think that you're okay. Who am I helping tonight? When you know for sure you are not okay. Somebody's being delivered right now. Hiya, did the old shot. In the name of Jesus, somebody's being delivered. This is why you have to be careful your connections. Come on, you got to be careful your connections. You got to be careful your connections. I'm talking to somebody tonight. You have to be careful your connections. Thank you, Deborah. She says verbal. Any type of abuse is wrong. It is wrong, and it's a spirit. 
It's a demonic spirit that releases abuse. Come on. Women, don't you let no man knock you inside your head. That's not love. And if you're not married, don't you marry him. You have heard from me directly. I may not be your pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I'm your help tonight. Glory to God. And men get abused too. Did y'all know that? You got some women that abuse men. Hit them upside their head. Do all kinds of stuff. Take their money. Make them feel less than. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody. And it becomes mental abuse now. And now that man don't even want a real woman because he done been abused by somebody that took advantage of him. So now he becomes timid and shy. Come on here. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's spiritual warfare all the time. Glory to God. It's spiritual warfare all the time. Come on. Hallelujah. The enemy is fighting all the time. That's why you can't sleep. And even while you're sleeping, glory to God, hallelujah, still have a praying spirit. Who am I helping tonight? Even as you're sleeping, still have a praying spirit. Glory, glory, glory. I teach my members, repent before you go to sleep. Hallelujah. Don't keep the door open to the enemy. Repent before you go to bed. Ah, glory to God. I tell my members all the time and the covenant partners, repent before you go to sleep because you don't know what doorway is left open while you're sleeping. Come on, you done had a side conversation with a whole flip, a whole devil that day. And they done took in everything that you said. <laughs> Come on here. <laughs> Who am I helping tonight? I feel the anointing of God. Hallelujah. You done told all your business to a soothsayer, to a warlock. <sighs> and then you wondering why you having nightmares. Come on, you, you wondering why your kids is acting crazy. You wonder why it seemed like your house done been turned upside down. Who am I helping tonight? It's because you done told the wrong people your business. And let me go a little deeper tonight. Let me help somebody, even on our prayer line. Stop telling people your dreams. Come on, if you don't understand something, write it down. Write your dream down and go to God. Lord, can you reveal this dream to me? God, help me to understand this dream. And if God has given you a vision, stop telling people your vision. I had to learn that a long time ago, you know, glory to God. Hallelujah. Always been a beautician and in the field of beauty, people are jealous for no reason. You looking for a stab. You looking for people to help you. Who am I helping tonight? You, you looking for somebody to assist you. You looking for somebody to, 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 to see your vision and to help you run with it. They're not going to run with it. Come on. Everybody doesn't have your best interests at heart. Everybody is not for you. Do y'all know that? And everybody can't go to your next dimension with you either. <laughs> God spoke that to me today, Sister Stephanie. He said, as much as you want to take them with you mentally and physically, emotionally and spiritually, they're not ready. They're not ready. So you have to accept your reality. <laughs> Come on here. Somebody shout, I'm going to accept my reality. Uh-oh. Uh oh, see, that's a problem right there because many people want to believe something that's made up. Come on. And a lot of times you, you want things to be one way when God is saying they don't even want what you want. <laughs> Somebody got the answer right there. Come on. Some of you trying to encourage people that don't even want to be encouraged. Because they're so used to being stuck. They're so used to being stagnated. You trying to encourage them and saying, God is saying, and they looking at you like, well, I ain't hearing God. Maybe he's just talking to you, but he ain't talking to me. Come on. Hallelujah. And once you accept your reality, listen, you're going to sleep at night. Ah, you're going to sleep at night. You're going to have a peace like none other. Because you're going to say, you know what? I'm accepting what God has allowed. Woo! Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the anointing of God right here. Somebody is coming out. Mm. Somebody is coming out. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, I felt the strong release right there. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Accept your reality. Oh, that's the way it is. Okay. I accept it. Okay. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me to keep on moving, God. Help me to keep on going, God. I accept the reality. I accept the fact that they don't like me. I accept the fact that they don't want to go. I accept the fact. Yeah, 
Glory to God. See, a lot of times you have to accept the reality. Come on. You can't change nobody. Only God can. Come on. That doesn't mean that you give up on them. But you got to keep on going. A few of y'all got your answer tonight. You got your answer tonight. Since the Tessa said that hit me. Yeah. Yeah. Because when it's time for you to move forward, you got to move forward. Hallelujah. See, see, one thing. Yes, Lord, I hear you. God says, speak on this. You got to understand that being unequally yoked is not just marriage. Listen, for those of you that may be unequally yoked, that's not just marriage. All right. That's when you when you're connected to someone who is not in agreement with your God. They don't serve the same God that you do. They might, they might be an unbeliever. That's why God said, um, he said, do not be, mm -hmm. glory to God, do not be um, connected with an infidel. An infidel is someone who does not believe God at all. You know, that's an atheist, somebody that doesn't even believe in your God, right? So God says, do not be connected with unbelievers. That's not just marriage. Some of you, listen, if you have a business deal, listen to this. And they're an atheist and you are, you are a Christian. You're a believer of Jesus. Now, what's, what's going to happen when you get into the fact that you believe God by faith, but they're praying or they're talking to a, I don't know, they might be going to a psychic. That, you know, they might be going to a palm reader because they don't believe God. So now you're intertwining. Somebody catch this real quick. You're intertwining beliefs. And now what's happening, somebody catching this. I feel a release tonight. What's happening as your intertwining beliefs was taking place is now the enemy has room. He has room to come in. <laughs> and somebody may say, well, wait a minute. What if I'm called to the marketplace? Because now that's what we hear. The marketplace prophet. So yes, you have the marketplace prophet. Yes, you have the prophet that is called to go into the music industry and to prophesy the word of the Lord. Yes, you have the marketplace prophet, the one who is called to go into regions and areas where God's name is not being said. That's something different. But that doesn't mean that you intertwine with that company. That doesn't mean that you go into a business deal, hallelujah, with those who you know are slinging drugs. Glory to God. That doesn't mean that, y'all see the difference? That doesn't mean that you connect yourself, hiya bashe, with the wickedness that is taking place over there. My God, my God, my God, tonight. Y'all get, you understand? So, so, so there is a difference, hiya bashe. The Lord says, continue to let your light so shine. That men would see your good works, but that they will glorify your father who is in the heavens. Somebody shout, there is a difference. Come on, there is a difference. That's when Jesus said, come out from among them and be ye separated. That doesn't mean that you still don't prophesy to the drunk person. That doesn't mean that you don't still prophesy to the prostitute. Come on here. That doesn't mean, hallelujah, glory to God, that you don't help that person. They don't have no food or they might be homeless. You still extend your help. You still extend the love of God. But you don't get intertwined with that. Somebody shout, there is a difference. Glory to God. There is a difference, okay? Amen. I had to clarify that because some people say, oh, she coming against the, the marketplace prophet. She always speaking something, you know, coming against what God is doing in my life. No, the Holy Spirit is revealing to you there is a difference. Because you still got to be separate. Come on. Jesus was with the tax collectors. Jesus was with the sinners, but he, he didn't do what they were doing. Come on. And that's another thing people would say. Oh, Jesus was with the tax collector. He sat with the prostitutes. He sure did. He sat with them. He was with the tax collectors, but he didn't do what they were doing. <laughs> Come on here. And Jesus was God in the flesh. Some of you say, oh, God just delivered me from drinking and smoking. Now you going in the speakeasy. It's not time yet. Because you may not be strong enough. <laughs> Come on here. You talking about, oh, I'm going to go in the bar and get everybody. But you just stopped drinking a month ago. You're not strong enough yet. Come on. Th there is a difference. You see? Hallelujah. But once you get strong enough, after a year or two, and God develops you, and now you know you delivered, because you've been around alcohol. You done been at the cookout, and you don't, you don't have a taste for it anymore. 
Come on. You know God set you free. And for those of you that have sexual addictions, you know God set you free. When a fine man is next to you, come on, women of God. A fine man is next to you and your flesh don't rise. Come on, men of God. A fine woman is next to you and you like, uh, she trash. She, she, you know, she look like a tramp. I can just see her spirit right now. Come on. You, you know that, oh, y'all, is that too raw? Is that too real? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. That might be too. I think we got some children watching tonight. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord Jesus. I apologize. <laughs> That might be too raw tonight. If it is, say, Pastor, bring it on in. Come on, say, Pastor, bring it on in. Bring it on in. See, but I'm still holiness. Listen, I, I come from holiness. And see, that's the way we were taught. Listen, you dress like a... I'm sorry. You attract what you, what you are. Amen. <laughs> I got to bring it in because I'm this mouth will keep going. Hiya, Bashe. Because somebody needs to hear it. Mm. Glory to God. Somebody needs to hear it. Because, see, when you know better, you do better. <laughs> Somebody shout, when I know better, I do better. Come on. If I hear it, then I can apply it. Glory to God. If I hear the word of God, then I can then I can start doing the word of God. You know? So that I can be a better person. Right? So that you don't keep making the same decisions. Ah, glory to God. See, see, I didn't get delivered. Let me just be transparent right here. I got delivered when I saw a holy woman of God. Woo. See, I kept seeing unclean things. So I thought that that was okay. God, but it wasn't until I saw holiness, Woo, God, that I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Oh, it's something different. Hiya, by shape. Even the men that are in holiness, there's a certain way that they carry themselves. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Come on, they not looking at every skirt. Come on here. Oh, y'all don't want to. Yes, a man is a man is a man is a man. <laughs> but you got some men in holiness. They not moved by that. Hiya, by shape. Because they have learned that that's a spirit. I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting in trouble tonight. I don't know. That might be a little too deep for y'all. See, in holiness, <laughs> somebody getting this tonight. In holiness, you learn spirit. See, see, Sister Kashina, I didn't desire holiness until I saw my leader. Come on. I told you all in the beginning, what you partake of, you become. Okay. Okay. So, so you can be around wicked leaders. You can be around wicked people. And after a while, you're going to become wicked too. Even if you know it's not right. Woo! Because spirits transfer. Help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. Come on, Renee. Catch this word. Spirits transfer. I love you, Sister Tracy. <laughs> Listen, spirit, I do love you, for real, for real. It's, it's right here, Sister Tracy, right here. Glory to God. Listen, spirits transfer. My God, tonight. Hallelujah. That's why you don't let everybody touch you. You don't let everybody prophesy into your life. You don't let everybody speak over your life. You don't let everybody... Come on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God said be still and know, that's what he meant. Be still and know that he is God. Because there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Woo! Glory. The Bible says there's a way that seems right. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And after a while, you're going to realize that that way is not God. Woo! Hiya by shape. Because that way is going to lead you to death and destruction. Who am I helping tonight? Who am I helping in the Holy Ghost? Ah, glory. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is death and destruction. Come on. After a while, you be around people, Prophet Anthony, and you realize and say, wait a minute, I don't even want that. Uh, that's what they doing over there? That's what it takes to get that? I got to do that? I got to jump through hoops? 
I got to run around in five circles. I got to wait, 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 wait a minute. God ain't in that. Woo, glory to God. Speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. A lot of stuff God is not in. Okay, I'm getting in trouble again. I'm, I'm getting in trouble again tonight. I'm getting in trouble. Okay, let, let's read Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. All right, so we can start bringing it on in tonight. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Glory to God. I'm so grateful for holiness. Y'all don't understand. Hallelujah. And all because I allowed the Lord to bring me out of a, uh, out of a horrible pit of sin. Glory to God. And anoint me afresh. Hallelujah. I carry the spirit of holiness with me. Glory to God. So those that come in my presence. Hallelujah. They don't desire to be like me. They desire true holiness, which comes from God. Come on here. That's why you got to be careful who you talk about. You got to be careful when you talk about God's men and women. Hallelujah. No, they're not holy rollers. They just know God's word. And they just know that there's a way that you have to live if you want to see God. Come on. You can't be wicked and still preaching, praying and prophesying and getting over on God's people and think that you're going to stand before the Lord and hear well done. It doesn't work that way. Because if God had to, ah, you did the old shot. If God had to purge me, if God had to strip me, then he got to do the same thing with you. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. If I had to purge and I had to vomit and I had to cough up that sin and, and all of that, that, that uncleanliness. Ah, you did the old shot. Hallelujah. See, sometimes, Sister Trina, that's why things come into your mind. Because it might have been what you picked up. Glory to God. Sometimes you can pick up things along the way from certain people. That's why you got to be careful. Amen. You can pick up certain things along the way. Somebody shout spirits transfer. I want you to remember that. Glory to God. Spirits transfer. Even the spirit of pride. Do you know you can have a prideful leader and that spirit transfer over on you? Come on. And after a while now you become prideful and you like, wait a minute. At one time I was humble. No, God wants us to be humble. He wants us to be like little children. And see, you learn that in the way of holiness. Who am I helping tonight? Glory to God. See, in the way of holiness, you learn the attributes of God. Come on. You learn his spirit. Hey, Chloe. Hallelujah. And then you can walk in power because now you have allowed God to clean you up. Somebody shout true holiness. Come on here. Ah, glory. It's not popular, but it's needed. Come on here. It's not popular, but it's needed. Hey, glory. And I promise you, if you walk in true holiness, you'll be set apart. Come on. You, you won't look like the world. You won't do the things of the world. Hallelujah. And it's not that you're not, you're so wonderful. But what it is, is you have allowed yourself to come out of a world of sin. So the things that used to, that used to attack you, they don't attack you anymore. Because now you're covered under the blood of Jesus. See, that's what that means to be covered under the blood of Jesus. Come on. We got everybody saying the Lord loves them and that they covered by the blood. And half of these people that are in sin, how are you covered by the blood of Jesus? And you are dibbing and dabbling in the things of the world. I'm just, I'm just asking. I, you know, I just, I just want to know. Come on. How can we say we're of God, but we're doing things of the world? Come on, how can we say we love the Lord and we allow the devil in our homes? Uh-oh, 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 I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting in trouble. Somebody say, up. Oh, she ain't had, she was, she was, she was talking good till she, till she started talking about my house. No, it's the Holy Spirit revealing some things to you. You can't allow the devil to come into your room. Who am I talking to? You can't allow the enemy to come into your space and don't think that he's going to take over because he is going to take over he just needs permission that's all that's all he, he just needs permission glory to god come on here hallelujah the enemy just needs permission to come on in and raise heavy glory 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 let's get to ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 y'all being blessed tonight y'all being blessed tonight hit those hearts for jesus share the broadcast if you will amen if you've already shared, type shared in the heart if you can for me. Amen. Amen. A woman of God says, keep on speaking. Amen. I got to bring it in, Sister Renee, because I keep on going. <laughs> Glory to God. It's so much inside of me. Hallelujah. That I have to release to God's people. Amen. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. But I have to use wisdom also. 
Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. It says, now unto him. Somebody shout him. Now unto him that is able. Somebody shout God is able. To do exceeding abundantly above all. Somebody shout all. That we could ask or think. According to the power that worketh in us. Once again, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. I want you all to meditate upon it. I want you all to read it throughout the day tomorrow and the day after. Just let this scripture minister to your spirit. Now unto him, now unto God who is able. Somebody shout, God is able. Thank you, um, Jemiah. Thank you, sweetheart, for sharing tonight. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding. All right, let's stop right there for a minute. Exceeding means to go past the mark. When you exceed, you're going beyond what is asked. Come on. When, when, when you, when you um, exceed in something, not only do you pass the mark, but you go far beyond that, right? So God is able to go far beyond, listen to this, and he's able to do it abundantly. So that means he's able to go far beyond what you're asking or thinking, He's able to release unto you an abundance. Ha, huh? glory to God. Hallelujah. That is what, what is called the overflow. He said, but above all that you can ask or think. So God says, you give him the petition. You pray unto him and you ask him, Sister Maisha. And he's saying he's, he's more than able to go above that, to go beyond that. Speak Holy Ghost. And to do more. Amen. And he's able to do more and to go above what you can ask or think. Glory to God. Amen. What you can ask or think. But, but check this out. Look at the B part. It's according to the power that works in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's some good news tonight. It's according to the power that's working in you. Somebody shout this power working in me. Glory to God. There's some Holy Ghost power that's working in me. Come on, hallelujah, there's some power that's working in you. Glory, glory, glory. And God wants you to tap into that power. Come on, hallelujah, you have been connected to the power source. Glory to God, because you're connected to God. Speak, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, you are now connected to the power source. See, one thing about the enemy, let me help somebody tonight. He wants you to believe that you got to depend on your flesh to get it done. So he'll overwork you. Listen to this, the enemy will overwork a person. The enemy will make you to believe that you got to work a job where you work, you work in all these hours. You know, you don't have time for yourself. The enemy will have you to believe you don't have time for your family. The enemy will tell you, oh, it's okay. You can do it by yourself. And that's when God is saying, no, I want you to trust me. Hallelujah. Because there's some power that's working in you. Who am I helping tonight? Glory to God. See, there's some power that's working in you, Minister Betty, to the point to where God says in Luke 10 and 19, he said, behold, I've given unto you power. Glory to God. He said power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Hallelujah. And over all the power of the enemy. That's Luke 10 and 19, right? He said over all the power of the enemy. He said, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Come on. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against the enemy. Ah, glory to God. Somebody shout, Lord, reposition me. Woo, glory to God. Somebody shout, Lord, reposition me so I can walk in power. Mm, glory to God. Somebody shout, Lord, reposition me because I know you're able, but it's according to the power that's working in my life. Woo, glory. So, so now that you know there's some power working in you, hallelujah, and God is now able and that God is doing it, hallelujah, you and God are working together. Oh, this is good tonight. This is good tonight. Somebody shout, me and God are working together. Somebody may say, no, God can do it all by himself. No, he needs you because we just read that there's power that's working in you. Uh, come on, receive this word tonight. There's power that's working in you, right? So if there's power working in you, you got to now tap into the power source. You got to tap into the power. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now you got to tap into the power. God has given you power to speak. 
He's giving you power to praise. He's giving you power to pray. Who am I helping tonight? Glory to God, because God is pulling somebody out of a dark place on tonight. My God, my God. The Bible also says that um, faith without works is dead. Yes, God, I hear you. Faith without works is dead. And what that means is, yes, you have faith, but if you don't put your faith and your works together, then nothing will happen. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, God is the one who gets it done. Hallelujah. But it's according to your faith that it's going to manifest. Woo! Speak Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Lord, increase my faith. As you are repositioning me, God, increase my faith, God. Hey, hallelujah. Increase my faith that I believe you just a little bit more. Increase my faith that I can walk in that power. Increase my faith tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. Because I know that you put some power inside of me. Hallelujah. And for those of you that have not tapped into the power, you need to lift your hands and tell God, thank you for the power. Ah, glory. You need to lift your hands and thank God for the power. Mm. The power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That is working inside of you. I'm going to give you something else tonight. Huh? That's going to last a lifetime. Many of you need the power of goodbye. Uh-oh. You need the power of the word goodbye. You need the power of the word no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, because when you start walking in a place of authority, you got to start telling the devil no. Ah, glory to God. You got to start telling the devil goodbye. <laughs> goodbye <laughs> glory hallelujah you gotta tell the devil goodbye and you gotta tell the devil no no some of you are gonna go from constantly telling people yes to now saying the word no and meaning it too come on it's not a sin to say no <laughs> come on hallelujah God don't want you to be naive see he wants us to be nice Oh, this is good. <laughs> Come on. See, God wants us to be nice because we got to be sweetly saved, you know? We can't be all mean and, you know, bitter towards people. So we got to be nice, right? But he wants you to be nice enough to tell them no. Yeah, see how that works? And sometimes when you tell the right person no, the enemy will get off your back. Glory to God. Because the enemy may just be working through that person that you need to tell no. Uh-oh. Somebody got the answer right there. No, no, just, just say no. Well, you know, I was thinking, no, that's all right. Well, wait a minute, why you cut me off? No, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the more you keep telling people yes. The more you keep bending and compromising. Who am I helping tonight? See, when you compromise with sin, mm, speak Holy Ghost. When you compromise with the devil, let me tell you what's happening. Your spirit man is dying. You are dying spiritually. You are dying spiritually. So where you were before, you're no longer there. Your place of authority, you're no longer there. Because now you got to be built back up to that place. Oh, somebody, oh, somebody catch this word tonight. You need to be built back up to that place because you've been telling people yes all the time. You've been saying yes to this and yes to that. And you know it's the wrong thing. Speak Holy Ghost. So now, yes, God, I hear you. Some of you are coming out of some things because now you're going to start telling the devil no. See, God is giving you power <laughs> over the enemy. He's giving you authority to take your life back. Woo! Mm. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel that for many of you tonight. You're going to take your life back. Hallelujah. Sister Jennifer, you know what you got to do. You just got to take it back by force. Hey, glory to God. You know, the Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Y'all got me preaching tonight. Mm, glory to God. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violence take it back by force. Come on. See, the kingdom of heaven, we in the kingdom, right? <laughs> Come on here. The kingdom of God suffers violence. Oh, we go through a lot of stuff, but we take it back by force. Come on. Hallelujah. I preached the word last week. Hallelujah. Of restoration and how God is going to restore the body. In order for us to be restored, we have to first lose something. Come on. According to Joel chapter 2, verse 25 through 28. 
The Bible says, and I will restore unto you the years. Oh, it's been a long time, Sister Jennifer. It's been a long time, Sister Tessa. It's been a long time, Evangelist Arlene, that you have been losing things. Hallelujah. It's been some years. It's been some times. Hallelujah. Some time that you have lost some things, Nurse Ned. But you're getting ready to be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory, glory, glory. You're getting ready to walk in your greatest season of restoration. Mm. Hallelujah. Restoration of your mind. Hey, Chloe. Restoration of your peace. Restoration of your joy. I hear the Lord saying, you're getting ready to be restored 1,000 fold in Jesus' mighty name. For all the H-E double hockey sticks you had to go through, Prophet William, for all the lies that was told on you, for all the sabotage. Ah, oh, you're my shape. My God. People saying you wouldn't be nothing. People saying that you wouldn't ever have nothing, Prophet William. Oh, they're getting ready to see God bless you. Mm. For the table is being prepared right now. Oh, glory to God. According to Psalm 23, hey, glory to God. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Oh, God. Hallelujah. So, Prophet William, get ready for the table to be spread. Hey, glory to God. Everything that you have need of, man of God, will be supplied. I hear the Lord saying, Prophet William, everything that you have need of will be supplied in this season of your life because you're doing things the way that God has you to do it. My God, my God. See, it's a blessing when you follow holiness. Come on here. See, some of you are getting ready to learn the way of holiness. You're going to learn how to live pure. You're going to learn how to live right. Hey, glory to God. You're going to learn the ways of God. Hallelujah. You're not going to be manipulated by the enemy anymore. Because now you're going to live according to the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. Rejoice, Sister Michelle. Glory to God. Come on. Somebody give God some praise. Because you're getting ready to learn God in a whole nother way. Glory to God. Glory to God. Some of you are ready. Some of you are ready to experience God. Some of you are ready to experience his glory. Ah, I feel the anointing of God flowing. Some of you are ready not just for the prophetic word to come to pass. Hallelujah. Not just for the money to be released. But some of you are waiting for the manifestation of his glory in your life. Woo, glory to God. Because Sister Stephanie, hallelujah, delay does not mean denial. My God tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord, he says, I'm working out some things in the paperwork, Sister Stephanie. The Lord says, don't be discouraged, but be encouraged, Sister Stephanie. Mm. Hallelujah. God says, I'm working in the paperwork. Hey, and I speak in the name of Jesus that the paperwork that needs to be signed and released. Hallelujah. That it, that it, that it, that is on the right desk. Glory to God that it's in the right hand, Sister Stephanie. I prophesy in Jesus' name. And I touch and agree with the prayer that you have already prayed. Hallelujah. You haven't told nobody. Glory to God. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to touch and agree with you. For the paperwork to be released in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. For the paperwork. Ha! Glory to God. And we believe God for favor for you. Hey, glory, hallelujah, that what they told you, they owed you, that they give you greater, my God, that they give you in an abundance, hallelujah, blessings to you, prophet Gary, glory to God, that child. yes, Lord, that they give you greater, that they give you an abundance, hallelujah, and an overflow with interest, ha, ah, glory to God, what is owed unto you, woman of God, mm. hallelujah, hallelujah, how many of you know the longer you wait, the greater the blessing? My God, tonight, the longer that you wait, whoo, help me, Holy Ghost, the greater the blessing. Ah, hallelujah. The greater the suffering, the greater the reward. Speak, Holy Ghost. The greater that you go through a situation, even the embarrassment of it. Ha, ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, Prophet Gary. Glory to God. You know what it means to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. But God is getting ready to make you an open blessing. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to put you on display, Prophet Gary. Hey, hiya, bashay. Hallelujah. He says, it's all right that you had to go through some embarrassment, that you had to go through some lies. Yes, Lord, I hear you. But the Lord said for me to tell you, Prophet Gary, he said, tell my son, hiya, that I'm getting ready to put him on open display. Mm. 
Glory to God. They getting ready to see the light of God shine on your life. Hallelujah. And God says for me to tell you, hallelujah, there's another stream of income that's getting ready to come your way, Prophet Gary. Ah, oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know if you're getting ready to start products or something. It's something with products. It's something with um, something that you're going to be distributing. Ah, oh, glory to God. God says the distribution is going to work this time. Hallelujah. Prophet Gary, the Lord says the distribution is going to work this time. Ha, ah, glory. He says, get the products. He says, get everything that you need, man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel a release for you. Glory to God. He says, get the products you need. Get everything that you need in order. Ah, glory to God. And he says, Prophet Gary, the distribution is going to work this time. That's the, that's the word that I hear. Distribution. You're getting ready to give out. Hallelujah. You're getting ready to send out products. Mm. Glory to God. And this product is going to bring more increase. It is going to bring um, a greater overflow. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord saying assistant. He's getting ready to give you an assistant. But this assistant is coming with everything. Ha! Ah, glory to God. You're not going to have to teach this person much. Glory to God. But they're coming with everything that you are asking for. Ha! Ah, glory to God. Because your clientele is getting ready to increase. But I hear the Lord saying that he has need of you to preach his word. Ha! Ah, glory to God. He says, yes, he's called you, amen, to the beauty field. He's called you to do hair. He's called you to make people look more beautiful. He's called you to beautify even the spirit man of the women. Glory to God that are sitting in your chair. Yes, he's called you for that. But God says for me to tell you he has need of your voice. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are his true prophet. He has need of your voice. He has need of your voice. Hayabashe. So make the time. Glory to God to minister to God's people. He says, make the time. Hallelujah. To, to speak what thus saith the Lord. Make the time, says God. He says, and I'm going to fulfill your every desire. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to make the promise good. Hayabashe. Hallelujah. He says, when you make the time for me, says the Lord, then I'm going to make the promise good. And that is the word of the Lord concerning you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody bless Jesus tonight. Come on, somebody bless the Lord tonight. Come on, somebody give God some glory tonight. Come on, I feel the presence of God so strong tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody is coming out of a pit from this word tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody is receiving the strength of the Lord tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Come on, come on. Don't stop praising him. Come on, don't stop blessing him. Come on, come on. Many of you are right there. Hallelujah. Many of you are right there. And I hear God say, and the season of revival is getting ready to hit your house. Oh my God. He says, I'm bringing revival to your house. Glory to God, Sister Sharon. Hallelujah. The Lord says that he has not forgotten your family. Hey, glory to God. I love you, Prophet Gary. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, God says, Sister Sharon, he says he has not forgotten your family. It's something about family you believe in God to do. He said, tell my daughter I have not forgotten the family. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says he has not forgotten the family. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Yes, Lord. He says, be encouraged. Glory to God. I see your hands working. I don't know what all you're doing, woman of God. I see your hands working. And I just see your hands working and working and working and working. I don't know if what you're doing, it doesn't seem like um, it, it, what you're doing, it seems like it's not producing much. Sister Sharon, can you hear me? Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. She said, I receive revival. Yes, God's going to give you revival in your home. But Sister Sharon, the Lord says, I see your hands working. I don't know what you do, where you work. Amen. But it seems like what you're doing with your hands is not producing anything. Glory to God. The Lord says for me to tell you, your labor is not in vain. Because God is getting ready to shift you, even in employment. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to shift you in employment. The last uh, place that you were at or the place that you're in right now was for experience. Mm. Hallelujah. But that's not your final place because you need more money. You, you need you need more finances. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. For what it is that God told you to do. Glory to God. And because God gave you a command and told you to do something financially, it's not adding up. It is not adding up. The finances that you need, Sister Sharon, is not adding up with what God told you. Am I speaking correctly? Glory to God. 
Sister Sharon, am I speaking correctly? What you want to do is not adding up with your finances. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So God is saying the place that you're in right now, what he is doing, he's giving you experience. It's experience for you to write on your resume. Glory to God, because you're going to need it for the next place. Glory, glory, glory. Latanya says, I received the shift. Hiya, Bashe. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Latanya, I see a door closing in your life. I see God shutting a big door. It's like it's something that you were depending on. It's something that you were in. Um, Latanya. I'm sorry. Hold on one second here. Yes, is it Latanya Renette? Latanya Renette. Latanya Renette. The Lord says for me to tell you that he's getting ready to close that big door. But this big door has caused you a lot of problems. Um, this big door, it was, it was open for a long period of time that it should not have been open that long. In other words, it like lingered. It lingered into something else. God bless you all on um, Instagram Live. Stay with me, y'all. I'm just prophesying to those on Facebook right now. Glory to God. But the Lord says for me to tell you, um, woman of God, that it lingered for too long. It, it, it lingered for too long. And so God is getting ready to shut that door. And it brought a lot of heartache also. Um, it brought a lot of heartache and a lot of, uh, it's like your body went through some things, not a sickness, but you went through a physical challenge. Glory to God. You went through a physical challenge with this door still being open. And God is getting ready to um, close that door. But he has a major door he's getting ready to open for you. But I hear the spirit of the Lord said to tell you, receive this word, woman of God. The Lord says for me to tell you, this next door he's getting ready to open, Latanya Renette. He says you have to go through this door by yourself. You have to go through this door by yourself. You have to go through it by yourself. Knowing that God is with you. Glory to God. Amen. Um, Sister Sharon says, I opened my business. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sister Tia says, pray for me and my family. My dad is in the ICU on life support. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Tia's dad before you, Lord God. And we ask right now, Father, that you send comfort, Lord God, to his bedside. Father, we ask right now, God, that your will will be done in her father's life right now, God. Whatever the family is praying for, we touch and agree right now in Jesus' mighty name. And God, we seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus and we count it done. Lord, give Tia comfort even now, Father. Give her the spirit of peace right now, God. Let her rest in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus right now, Father. Oh, God, give this family peace, Lord God. Give them comfort in this hard time in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let your will be done for her father, oh God. Let your will be done in this situation, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you now and we praise you now. And we seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus and we count it done. Amen and amen. God bless you, Tia. Um, Tia, you're also going to get some rest tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to get some rest tonight, um, Tia. Tia, I don't know if you're still with me. Glory to God. But I speak sweet rest in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you drink tea, but there's something about tea. I see a cup of tea. Um, God is just showing me it like a cup of tea. Yeah. I don't know if it has to do with your diet. I don't know if it has to do with your digest uh, digestion. But I see a hot cup of tea. Can you can you hear me, uh, Tia? Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, sometimes you have to drink the tea to help with your digestion. Amen. Um, and it has to be hot. Because whatever is going on with your system has to be able to flush. Glory to God. But you are going to get rest, Sister Tia, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. We're going to keep your family lifted in prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord tonight. Come on, somebody bless Jesus tonight. Come on, somebody praise the King tonight. She says, yes, I'm here. Do you drink hot tea? Do you drink hot tea? Glory to God. I see you with a with a, a mug and it's hot tea in there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A lot of times God will show me different things that's needed for the body. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just let me know, Tia. If you don't drink tea, you need to drink this hot tea that I see. Glory to God. It's going to help with your digestion. I speak healing over your body also, Tia. In the name of Jesus. And I speak rest. Hallelujah. I speak rest to come upon you. Good sleep. 
In Jesus' mighty name, yes, Lord, and a comfortable place to be. I don't know why God is showing me where you are. It's uncomfortable. It doesn't have anything to do with your father being in the ICU, but where you are, Tia, is it's an uncomfortable place. Glory to God. And I just speak comfort. Amen. I speak comfort and I speak that you get to a place of where you are comfortable and where you are right now. In Jesus' mighty name, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Juanita Smith, you are in a season of transition. I hear the Lord say, let me change this song. Glory to God. And I always got to say that because I don't think I don't want people to think I'm up here looking at nobody's name, trying to figure out stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to change that worship song. Glory, glory, glory. Well, Anita Smith, I hear the Lord saying to tell you that you are in a season of transition. You're getting ready to move from one place to the next. Have you moved yet? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have you moved yet? Thank you, Jesus. Have you moved yet? Um, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Felicia. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. God bless you, woman of God. Felicia, full of young. Glory to God. I thank God for you. Amen. I truly thank God for you. Amen. I just hear the spirit of the Lord saying your heart. I can see your heart, Sister Felicia. Amen. Your heart is pure. Your heart is pure. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Okay, Juanita Smith, you're there. Okay, she said, yes, Lord. You're in your season of transition, Juanita. Amen, you're in a season of transition. If you have not moved yet, um, you will be moving. Glory to God, you will be moving. This is also a spiritual move. It's not just a physical move, but it's a spiritual move. Amen. Um, and so follow the leading of God. Follow the leading of God in this move. Hallelujah. God got a hold of my mouth, y'all. I'm trying to bring it in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Juanita Smith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Follow the leading of God. She says, I want to move. Yes. Ask the Lord, where does he want you to go? Um, and, and ask for specifics. Ask for specifics. Glory to God. Ask for specifics. Ask God to show you the place. Ask God to give you the supernatural provision that you need. Ask God for the specifics. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Darlene. Hope to see you soon, woman of God. Ask God for the specifics. That's what I hear him saying to tell you. Because you have not been asking him specifically where to move. And you have not asked him for the finances. Okay. She says, I want to move again. All right, you moved two years ago, but you want to move again. Okay, right. It's time for transition. It is time. It's time for you, woman of God, because you need a new environment. You need a lot of new things, um, even a new mindset, and it's going to come when you move. All right, that's what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to tell you. Sister Felicia, um, Fuller Young, I see your heart. I see your heart. Amen. God showed me your heart even on Sunday. Um I see your heart, Sister Felicia, and your heart is right. Your heart is pure. And God is telling me to tell you that he has healed your heart. I don't know what that means to you, but God is telling me to tell you, Sister Felicia, that he has healed your heart. I see a, a, a vibrant heart. You know, I see a um, glory to God. Amen, Pastor Darlene. I see a heart that is beating um, and the flesh of the heart is, is like is pure. You know, it is, um, it is, it's not tainted. It's not, you know, it is, it's pure. And God says that your heart has gotten to a place of purity, um, for your much suffering and much, um, forgiveness. You had to forgive people who did you wrong and people who know that they deliberately did you wrong. You had to forgive them. And because of that, God has purified your heart. I can see it so, so um, clear. Amen. But God says that he has created in you a clean heart and has he has renewed within you the right spirit. And you're going to go so far in ministry now, um, says the spirit of the Lord. You're going to go so far in ministry. Um, you're going to reach a higher level in ministry. You're going to reach a higher plateau in ministry. And God says the things that he showed you in years ago. He's going to bring them to pass. God said he had to get you to this place. Yes, Lord, I hear you. 
so that you can succeed in him. Ministry is going to be different. You're going to feel the power of God even more. And God says he's very well pleased with you. And that is the word of the Lord concerning you. Glory to God. God bless you all tonight. Listen, we're getting ready to exit. Amen. I look forward to seeing you all at Fresh Fire 9 Revival. Uh, we are here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Those of you that are in North Carolina, those of you that are in South Carolina and surrounding areas, you need to come to Fresh Fire 9 Revival. Listen, registration is open. We have about 12 more seats um, for this conference. So you, 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 you can go ahead and register tonight. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead and register. Make your plans to come. You can get on a plane. You can get on a train. You can ride your automobile. Listen, you need to Google right now and see how long it's going to take you to get to North Carolina. <laughs> Amen. Look up some flights right now. Glory to God. This is a family event. Thank you, Sister Tracy. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, this is a family event. Bring your children. Children's registration is only $25 for all three days. Glory to God. Um, come on out. Listen, if you are married, bring your spouse. Amen. Husbands, bring your wives. Wives, bring your husbands. Bring your children. Listen, this is a conference like none other. Amen. A lot of healing, a lot of deliverance, a lot of shackles being broken, generational curses destroyed. Glory to God. Listen, hallelujah. We are all about the Father's business in our conferences, even in our worship service. Amen. So you are welcome to join us here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We have a physical building and we invite you to join. Amen. The address is 3670 Baston Lane. Glory to God. Come on out and fellowship with us every Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, Sunday at 2 p.m. You don't want to miss our worship service. Glory to God. Thank you, Sister Anita. Amen. To God be the glory. The zip code is 27604. All right. And our worship center is the Ezra Center. That's where we worship at. If you type in the Ezra Center, excuse me, if you type in the Ezra Center in Raleigh, it will take you right to our address. Amen. Be my special guest. All right. In our worship service, you will not be disappointed. You'll be so glad that you came out the fellowship with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Once, I, once again, registration is open. Registration for adults is only $60. So go ahead on and register for this conference. A lot of people say, what does that cover? That covers your admission into the conference room uh, for all three days. Amen. That also covers your um, gift bag. We're going to give you a spiritual gift bag from the ministry. Amen. We're also going to be serving a light, um, light lunch on Saturday. Amen. We always love to feed you all. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. I don't like to say food because, yes, ma'am, thank you. I've been dealing with swelling lately. Wow. Wow, Sister Tia. You're going to get some rest, Sister Tia, and you got to drink that tea. I keep seeing it. Do you drink tea? It's, it's, it's a special kind of tea. It's like um, ginseng tea, green tea. That's what I see for you, um, Sister Tia. Yeah. Go ahead and get that tea, all right? And just relax. Try your best to relax. God is in control. Thank you, Sister Felicia. I received the blessings. Thank you. Glory to God. Listen, Fresh Fire 9 Revival. Registration. She says, no, ma'am. You got to drink that tea, okay? When you get it, just inbox me, all right? And I'm going to pray with you, amen, as you're drinking that tea that God will begin to heal, amen, whatever situation it is. Glory to God. Whatever situation it is. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, turmeric yeah, definitely is for um, inflammation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Fresh Fire 9 Revival. Have you all registered? Amen. If you have not yet registered, listen, we want to see you. All right. July the 23rd through the 25th here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Once again, registration is only $60 for adults. Listen, many of you could register tonight. Listen, don't waste your time. Don't miss it. And don't wait last minute either. Amen. Because we have 12 seats that are left for our conference. And we want to see you there. Amen. God bless you all tonight. Listen, I thank God for this opportunity just to minister to you all. Amen. I cannot leave the live without giving you all the opportunity to sow a seed. Amen. There's no obligation. Glory to God. But I'm talking to the sowers. Amen. I'm talking to the givers tonight. Those of you that love to sow seed. Those of you that love to bless the work of God. Those of you that love to bless God's kingdom. 
Glory to God. Amen. So into this ministry. This ministry is very good soil. Glory to God. Listen, God moves mightily by his spirit here. I can't tell it all about what God does here in this ministry, but I can truly give him glory, honor, and praise. I want to say this for those of you that have never gone to our website. Our ministry website is www.propheticimpact1000.com. If one of our members can type, thank you, Sister Sequita. I was getting ready to ask. Amen. Um, here's the information on where you all can sow your seed. All right. Once again, our website. And I want those of you who have been blessed by our ministry. Can you do this uh, for me tonight? Can you go to our website and share your testimony? Listen, whatever our ministry has done for you, if you've received healing here, whatever God has done for you, share it on the testimonials. All right. And what you'll do is you'll go to the website. Amen. She says, yes, you're really helping me tonight. God bless you, Tia. God bless you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give God praise. Amen. Go to the website and it says testimonials and write your testimony. All right. Share about the goodness of the Lord, whatever God has done for you. If you received your deliverance here in this ministry, amen. Go ahead and share. All right. If you purchase our blessed anointed oil and it blessed your life. If you purchase the prayer shawl and it blessed your life, whatever God has done for you, amen. If you've been connected for some time and you got your healing here, share about the goodness of the Lord, amen. Somebody needs to hear it. Glory to God. Somebody needs to hear what God has done just for you. You might have even received salvation. Glory to God. You may have even received salvation through this ministry. If that is your testimony, please share it on our website. Once again, www.propheticimpact1000.com. Amen. We would love to hear what the Lord has done for you. We're going to exit on tonight, um, and we're going to uh, remain on our prayer line. I'll give that number in just a minute. Those of you that want to sow on PayPal, we have a PayPal account with our ministry, and all seeds go to our ministry. I want you all to know that, okay? They don't come to me. They go to our ministry. Glory to God. And we thank God for your prayers. We thank God for your support. Hallelujah. How many of you continue to support this ministry financially. Some of you sow a monthly seed into our ministry. Some of you sow your tithes. You give your offering to this ministry. I want to say thank you personally as the pastor. Glory to God. Amen. Ministry is not easy, but many of you make it easy. Amen. Many of you help us to continue to go on. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want to say thank you for those of you that continue to support and continue to pray for us in Jesus name. Amen. But most of all, God appreciates you. Glory to God. Amen. And he's the one that's going to reward you for your faithfulness to him. Amen. And your faithfulness and so into this ministry. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Amen. Pastor Prophetess Carmen Haywood, thank you. And God bless each and every one of you. Let us pray. Glory to God. Father in heaven, we thank you tonight. Father, we just glorify you once again, Lord. I thank you for every viewer on Facebook Live, every viewer on Instagram Live, every caller on our prayer line tonight, Lord. Those that have been encouraged, those that have been strengthened by your word, Father, we say thank you right now. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for the moving of your spirit on tonight. We thank you for your word on tonight, God, your word of encouragement, even your word of strength, Father. We say thank you. Thank you even now, Father, for those that are preparing to sow into the ministry. Thank you for every seed that has already been released lord god i pray a 1000 fold over each and every seed lord god that has been placed into this ministry on tonight that has been sown into good soil father i thank you even now for increasing your people i speak enlargement of their territories i speak even now in the name of jesus god restoration in their families lord we lift up every child that's represented tonight god and i pray for every child lord god that is represented tonight even the grandchildren lord god Father, I pray a hedge of protection over each and every child, every grandchild tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, O oh God, and I speak Psalm 91 over each and every person tonight. Father, we thank you even for hiding us high up our shape from the enemy on tonight. No weapon that is formed against us will be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us in judgment will be condemned in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we even come against the storm that is getting ready to come here in North Carolina, oh God. The storm that the weather has predicted, Lord God. We thank you even now, God, that our possessions will not be destroyed. Ah, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray now, God, that you send the storm in another direction 
protection, but let there be no hurt, harm, or danger to anyone here in North Carolina. In the name of Jesus, wherever the storm may be, Father, cover your people, I pray. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, cover our homes, cover our possessions, oh, God. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that we are covered in your blood. We thank you that we are sealed even now. And we thank you, Father. Yes, God, that your hand is upon our lives. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we will not get any bad reports, oh God. We will not hear about someone um, being hurt in the storm, Lord God. We thank you this shall be good news in the name of Jesus um, concerning North Carolina even now, Father. Oh, God, Holy Spirit, have your way in this region. Oh, God, begin to move mightily by your spirit, I pray in jesus mighty name and father we thank you for your covering ah yes lord we thank you right now god that no weapon that's formed against us will be able to prosper you said every tongue that rises up against us in judgment you shall condemn so father we stand on your word tonight and we believe it to be so in jesus mighty name we still this prayer in jesus name and we count it done amen and amen to god be the glory god bless you all tonight i am honored it was a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah for the spirit of the Lord to move on this live tonight. I don't take no glory. I don't take no credit, but I give all praise to God. Amen. I want you all to remember tonight that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. If you have not given your heart to the Lord, give your heart to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time is winding up. Amen. And it's time to repent. Glory to God. If you have not repented before God, repent tonight. Amen. Before you rest tonight, before you close your eyes, amen, ask God for forgiveness and ask the Lord to come into your heart again. Amen. And if you're not saved, ask Jesus to come into your heart right now. Amen. He's faithful and just to forgive you for all sin. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is able. Amen. As we spoke on tonight, he's more than able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or even think. But it's according to the power that works in us. God bless you all tonight. Amen. Have an awesome night. Shalom. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all on Instagram Live.